Here we go. Spoiler alert, audience. Thursday crew. That's what Thursday looks like. Thank you for being here, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. One more alarm clock to the weekend. Have a seat. Let's get started. I am very, I'm ready for the weekend already. It's been a good week, but I'm ready for the weekend already. And she's ready for the weekend. Audience, give some love to Miss Kendall, please. Hello, Kendall. How you doing? You're doing well? I don't hear you. Do, is your mic on today? Oh, audience. Somebody didn't turn their microphone. Oh, I still don't hear you. I saw it. Oh, there. Okay, so she, I, there she no, is, no, no, everybody. No, this is the weirdest thing. So, what? you know, we all have our routines when you get ready for work or for anything. Yeah. And for this, I always like have this routine of turning the mic on and then do this. And right before, while we were clapping for you, I was like, is my mic on? Because I was doing in the other room, I was doing my leg exercises for my physical therapy. Yeah. And so my routine was off and I didn't turn my mic on. Oh, it's Isn't hey. that weird how that that's why I don't know. that's why one of the many reasons I love our show, it's live TV. It happens. <laughs> it's live it happens. TV. It, it, it's anything. <laughs> Today, speaking of just like little mess ups like that, today mm -hmm. was one of those days, and I and I know the audience can relate, where th there are very few worse like when your stomach grumbles uh when you can't find your keys and you're running late in the morning have you guys yes. had that in your or your phone i or, mm -hmm. i had that this morning i searched i went back through my steps i looked in coats that i haven't worn since 98. you know what i mean to be like mm -hmm. oh did i wear that yesterday i went to my car i went everywhere and i'm looking at the clock and i have to be here for those of you who don't know i also do a radio show and that radio show starts whether I'm there or not. Yep. And and the clock mm -hmm. was ticking and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I was late, I got in the car, I got, I, I, uh, I'm auto, I usually do little coffee pods, but I went to Starbucks today and I drove up and I got my coffee. I'm a little late and I got halfway down the road and I'm like, you know what? And I never taste it before I get here to Fox. And I was really thirsty and I needed a coffee. So I took a drink and I was like, oh, and it, it tasted like, pine trees it was awful so like something so i was so needing of coffee even mm -hmm. though i was so late i'm like i tr I, I did a u-turn <laughs> i did an illegal u-turn right in the road i went back to starbucks and i'm like i'm like i'm sorry this isn't right i never do i hate ret i right. hate returning things and i apologized and i said can i get a new drink because it's awful i made the radio show by by the time i got settled and turned the computers yeah. on and got as I'm turning on the computer, I hear my theme song for the radio uh -huh. show. And I'm like, I have rarely cut it. I have that rarely close. cut it that close. Okay, it's moral of the story, because like the suspense is killing me. Where were the keys? Oh, oh. you don't want to know. Oh. You, you don't want to know. Okay. I, they, were, they were in the bathroom. I don't know how they ended up in the bathroom. On the floor in the bathroom. So I don't know if I like... Put them on the, the counter and, and it fell. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was hairy <laughs> carry up in my house today. I don't know. I, don't, I, I like 4:30 in the feeling. morning. <laughs> I absolutely I hate that. It's a, it's just an awful feeling. But it everything's is. all good now. We're it's all fine. good. It's fine. My mic's on. Your keys are there. You got a new coffee. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> and we're ready right now. Let's get to the hot dish. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Plus, it's almost Friday. I mean, that's the yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. I know. I'm ready for. I'm ready for the weekend. Let's get going. First up, there was another unmasking on the mask singer last night. I love, I love this show so much. I do. And even more clues about other singers. Now, before we recap all of this, roll this, Leo. Spoiler alert. Please don't email me. It just it's a it's a goofy show. If you don't want to know anything about it, it, just you know maybe just turn down the volume a little bit. Okay, first up, a couple of standout performances came from the f uh, flower and the Rottweiler. Now, Leo, don't roll it yet. Listen, I want you all to listen. Play with me if you if you watch the show. 
Listen to the flower's voice very carefully. Let me give you one clue. Legend. Like, this is a real, this isn't like a C-grade celebrity. She is a legend. Look at both of these and we'll talk on the other side. The Flower and the Rottweiler. The Flower's clues reference dream girls, how she likes to kick off her shoes and spend some time in her own secret garden. The judges guessed Anita Baker, Jennifer Holliday, and Patti LaBelle. As for the Rottweiler, he said there have been tough times. That was one of the clues. And he also picked up a North Carolina flag and appeared in some crime scene, which made people think that maybe he was in a crime show. Guesses include Gavin DeGraw, Darren, Chris from Glee, and Daughtry. Here we go. Uh, call your Las Vegas odd makers. Uh, call your, uh, your, your bookie. Okay. Call your bookie. I'm going to call Aaron a little bit. I'm going to call, call your bookie. <laughs> Schwabby does my betting for me. But, I mean, because here's the deal. There's no denying. You could take this check to the bank. The flower is Patti LaBelle. The flower is Patti LaBelle without, there isn't a doubt in my mind. Because Patti LaBelle sang the 1980, uh, 1998 version of Oprah's theme song, Get With The Program. And if you put that song next to her. Of course, her, you know this because of Oprah. Yeah, like, so, <laughs> and, and the clue of Patti kicking off her shoes. If you are a true Patti fan, you know that when Patti sings a certain song, she's famous for kicking off her shoes. She even kicked off her shoes when she performed for President Bill Clinton's uh, inauguration. She, she kicked off her shoes. Let's move on to Daughtry. That is Daughtry as the oh, Rottweiler. Okay. Oh, let's just move on to Daughtry. Uh, because okay. North Carolina, check. Um, he uh, had an unusual beginnings. American Idol, check. Uh, he has a blue rose tattoo. That was in last week's clue package, check. Uh -huh. And and the last one um, was the crime scene. Yeah, what's with the crime scene? He thing? was in CSI New York or Toledo or one oh. of the CSI shows. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what was confusing for me. But no, I totally think it's Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, Rottweiler, Daughtry. The Flower, Patti LaBelle. Take them both to the bank and cash that check. That's what it is. Yep. Now, hey. let's move on to the Ladybug because the Ladybug got, un uh, got unmasked. In her clues, she said she came from a famous family. The judges guessed Jamie Lynn Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and Paris Jackson. But no one was right. It is... It is, it is Kelly Osborne. Oh. Kelly Osborne. Okay, can I just acknowledge that Triumph, the insult comic dog's big eyes were the best part of that whole video? <laughs> I love Triumph. I love, for people that were watching last night that don't know, Triumph is, uh, originated on Conan O'Brien, uh, his late night show back on NBC. But okay. anyway, I love Kelly. Yeah, her clues, I didn't get it, and she did a southern accent, she said just to throw everyone off. Mm -hmm. That so you, was the big ticker. It was like, hmm. So now you can't trust even accents. Now it makes me not trust even when people have accents. So Yeah, well, the last clue, and uh, you know everything, and obviously everything is in hindsight, but she was playing with Jax yeah. in the clue, and her brother's name is Jack, and so it's like, ah, uh, duh. Yeah. Duh. Can I just can I speak to the producers and editors of that show real quick? And sure. and I love you. I love that show. This show I promote it all the time on this show, the radio show. But enough with the editing of the audience. It's so freaking oh, out. Every, I mean, no matter what the singer does, it, the, all all of the uh, all of the audience members look like flight attendants ah. on a rocky plane. You know, ah. it's so over the top. It's like yeah. Yeah. Stop it. It's I mean, enough. just let the audience react naturally. Don't over yeah. don't over edit it to make everything look goofy. It's they ridiculous. They should just have yeah. you and me doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, they all look like flight attendants on a turbulent plane, you know? Mm -hmm. Next in the dish. Uh, the Country <laughs> Music Awards were held last night, the CMAs. 
and celebrated women in country music. The award show did something different this year with three co-hosts. Uh, Carrie Underwood uh, was flanked by legends Reba McIntyre and my girl, Dolly Parton. <laughs> Miss Dolly. <clears throat> now this, forget the awards, everybody. This right here, what you're looking at, this is what's trending on social media today. They performed a tribute to the women of country music right at the beginning. Uh, this, this whole little number here, phenomenal. If you get a chance, if you missed it, look on the YouTube. Uh, some of the big winners of the night included Garth Brooks for Entertainer of the Year. Yeah. yeah. I know. I love Garth. No shade, but I love that the show was a tribute to women. And who wins Entertainer of the Year? A dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. And uh, Maren Morris for... Is it Maren? Mm -hmm. Maren Morris for Album of the Year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't watch it because... Hashtag bedtime. But I was just watching that little clip and my husband taped it for me. Why wasn't Trisha Yearwood in the big like women's thing? She's just sitting there and I'm like, Trisha Yearwood can sing. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Literally no idea, do you? No, I know who Trisha Yearwood is. Oh, I mean, you gave me that um, look I went of, like, to Country Splash and Country Jam in 2006. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And I drank a Paps Blue Ribbon the size of Aaron Schwab there. That's right. Jason Matheson drank a PBR. Uh, when in Ooh. Rome you You're drank sorry. Pabst Blue Ribbon? You're yeah. very, that's the hipster beer too, I, by the way. I countryed out, girl. I had like, I wore Daisy Dukes. I had, oh yeah. Did you have red cowgirl boots? Uh, no, I had my boots on. I had boots on. I had Daisy Dukes. I had, I tied my shirt up. Uh, yeah, I had a cowboy hat. The vision. I oh. fit right in. You're, I fit. You were just a vision. I, I know. Just a vision. One of the juicier moments of the night. Thank you, Eric, for laughing at that. One of the juicier <laughs> moments of the night happened on the red carpet. Hannah B. from The Bachelorette and Dancing with the Semi-Stars was talking with an E! News reporter on her Insta story when she appeared to throw some shade at Jed. Now, Jed is the guy she got engaged to on The Bachelorette and then promptly dumped. Look at this. Thank you, I already found. <gasps> oh, my God. God, know, princess, a you finding a husband tonight, girl. That's right. You're a husband tonight. <laughs> She's ready to get married. I do like country music. <laughs> There's some good options here. And a real, I mean, and a, a real good, what? A real musician. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bachelor Nation jumped all over that because Jed was an inspiring country music singer who used the show to jumpstart his career. How's that working out for you? Uh, we're going to take a break. Just saying. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Back after this. We're not done with the hot dish yet. Coming up next, just when we think we know everything there is to know about Gail King, she slaps us with a rather surprising revelation. Once it's out there, it takes a life of its own. I don't. I honestly don't get that. Find out what it is. Then, speaking of dish, he's the guy with the best sources and the best pictures. Dax Holt will join us live from his extra bedroom in sunny California. And parents, don't miss this. The Toy Guy is back with the hottest toys for the holiday season. And Santa, you better be watching too. Stay right there, that's coming up. Billie Eilish dresses like she got her clothes stolen at the gym, so they gave her what they had in the lost and found bin. Midland official looks like they have a white van with free candy written on the side. It's a black van. I'd rather listen to a barn full of baby pigs being vaccinated than Luke Bryan's new song. I have vaccinated baby pigs, and that's awful. Alice Cooper looked 65 in 1972. How is he still alive? Lizzo, bus passes and happy meals. Two things that I imagine Lizzo has seen a lot of. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big and I ride a bus. A tour bus, mother Where's yours? <laughs> get her, girl. You get them, Lizzo. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Once again, musicians read mean tweets last night on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Uh, before we get to more dish, uh, we have a special birthday person in the audience today. And now listen to this. Before Leo takes a shot of her, I just found out she comes, this is the fourth year that she comes to our show on her birthday. That's Bobby, everybody, right there. 
And guess what, Bobby? I just heard from our guess what? I just heard from our general manager, Sheila Oliver. She's giving you her car. That's right. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, Bobby. You can pick Sheila Oliver's car up in the parking lot after the show there. Yeah. I love you, Bobby. That's right. Right now, right now, Bobby, my termination papers are being signed. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Next in the disc, we're less than two months away from the new season of The Bachelor. Ooh, I can't wait. And ABC, ABC just released its first lame trailer. I'm sorry, teaser for the upcoming season, and it features one of the iconic symbols from last season's Bachelorette. See if you can find it. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. Upon second viewing, it's a little funnier than I initially thought. I was watching it on my iPhone. I don't know. That's Peter the pilot uh, coming out of the windmill. That's who he is. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Bobby, what do you want me to say? I don't know. It's Peter the pilot. It's Peter the pilot. He's coming out of a windmill, you know? Uh, because Now, he, he made that windmill famous, everyone, because that's where he and Hannah B spent the night in the fantasy suite. And you know what that means. They had sex in a windmill. Yeah. Churning butter in the windmill there. That's right, yeah. Uh, the new season of the, the new season debuts in early January. What did you say in our meeting about, about this promo? You're gonna make me say it is so not. Well, no, just. Uh, I just. I'm a big Mike Johnson fan, so I wasn't super thrilled with Peter, nice guy, but I said, I don't know what they did to contour his face, but he looks a little better than he did last time hey! I saw him. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so much hate for that, no, Jason! You're talking about contouring. If someone emails us about contouring, they need to check themselves. Yeah. Yeah, come on. You can become a Kardashian in 10 minutes. We're all contoured. You're contoured? Are you kidding me? What did you say? I said you can become a Kardashian in 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, like yeah. We're all contoured. I don't look like this in public. Are you kidding me? Right. I mean, it was more of a like, well, they did something. It well, you're good. not alone. I wanted you to say it because you speak for, I think, 50% of the people. People wanted, uh, what's his name? Mike. Mike, they wanted mm -hmm. him in there. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like Peter the pilot, He was though. very yeah. nice, very nice guy, but he ain't Mike. That's yeah. all I got to say. <laughs> Flying a plane. Uh, next in the dish. What? That's not it. What? What's happening? I don't know. Next in the dish, Gail King visited Ashley Graham's podcast recently. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why are we talking about this? Well, listen to this. Gail talked about some scandalous photos. And we thought we knew everything about Gail that Gail actually took back in college. Look at this. Once in uh, college, I, ha I was dating a guy who was a photographer. Okay. And I thought, okay, let's have a sexy photo shoot. Now, my idea of a sexy oh, photo shoot, I was nude, but actually I was wearing rollers. This was back in the day where you wear but pink that's foam cool. rollers. cool. <laughs> that's like very Maryland. That's so stupid. No. I mean, and I'm posing, I'm doing all what the things. What are you things. doing, like 50s poses? I mean, just, you know, you stick your butt out, you yeah. stick your boobs out. He's a photographer, so I went with him to the dark room to develop them. And then when they were done, I got all the negatives, so I, I know that they will never see the light I of day. I was gonna Girl. You better hope not, Gail. I love you. Question. Probably took that to Fox Photo back there in the 80s. Uh, Remember I, Fox I, Photo, the little booths? Anyway, yes? I, I have a question for Please, you. Please, go ahead. Have you ever taken some scandalous photos, Jason? <gasps> you know what? Here, I will, Bobby, settle down, Bobby. Bobby. I bet it's Bobby a, it's a birthday and she thinks she's hosting the show. <laughs> no, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. Hand to Oprah. I have, you will never, first of all, um, nobody want, and please, no, 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 no. Oh, I have don't never taken, say that. I have never and nor will I ever. I have a lot of flaws. I have a lot, I, you will never see me in that scandal because I have never taken a, no, 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 no. <laughs> 
Shan't be happening. Shan't be <laughs> happening. No, 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 no. Shall not. Ashley asked Gail about what kind of guy she likes, and Gail said she needs someone taller than her. Gail is 5'10". Yeah. She talked to... Yeah, anyway. I'll, I'll tell you the Gail story later. Anyway, okay. more hotness for you this morning. Oh, Brad's 5'10", or more than 5'10". Engineer Brad. Brad's taken, Jason. Well, taken. Brad, well, Brad's taken, but I mean, I don't know. Gail could come over or something. Yeah, we'll hook Brad up with Gail. Yeah, there's Brad. Gail, we got the guy for you. More hot dish for you this morning. And that, for that, we go to our insider of the stars. He's taken two. Give it up for Dax Holt from Hollywood Pipeline, everybody. Okay. Dax, Dax, it's yeah. fair. You're part of our family. Kendall asked me, so now I'm going to ask you, have you ever taken scandalous photos? Well, not this morning. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Two, Dax for the win on that one. Okay, you guys caught up with Kevin Hart. How's he doing? Uh, so he's actually doing much better. You know, him at the People's Choice Awards was kind of the first time that he had stepped out in front of an audience ever since his big car accident where, you know, it took him months and months of physical therapy to get back like on his feet and kind of working again. Uh, but the paparazzi said, hey, what was it like being in front of an audience? What, you know, being in front of people just kind of cheering you on? He said, you know, that was awesome. And then the pap went on to ask him about like, are you planning on doing anything to your cars to make them safer? And he stopped the pap, he's like, you're asking the wrong questions. The right questions are, how do you feel to be alive? Because I feel fantastic to be alive. And he is very grateful to be, you know, just here on the planet earth right now because there was a good chance that he would not have been here right now. So I, I think he is trying to change the narrative on this story to yeah. one of, you know, just thankfulness and gratefulness and, and happy to be here. So I can appreciate that a lot. Absolutely. Ben Affleck is uh, back at work after his recent uh, hiccup with sobriety. Yes, he is. And uh, I am very much one to cheer someone on. Yeah. You know, he did have a very public setback with leaving that Halloween party a couple weeks back, looking very intoxicated and then following it up with a casino run. But uh, he is down in New Orleans. He is filming with uh, his co-star. They're doing a new movie called Deep Water, I believe it's called. And it's about a loveless marriage where the husband and wife in this case are uh, seeking lovers on the side. And it is condoned by the other person. I guess it gets a little messy though, and that's how it then plays out. But uh, listen, he is at work, and I think that is the biggest thing. Yep. I, I hope that he stays sober this time around, because I, I want to champion him to stay healthy. Absolutely, I do too. And he has a really good, he has a really good person and his ex-wife cheering him on too. Jennifer Gardner just seems like a great cheerleader to have in your corner. Absolutely. Yeah. Finally, uh, so I hear you went to Vegas, my friend. You caught a, a new show, what'd you see? I did. So we, we spent the weekend in Vegas. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you're a big fan of America's Got Talent, but uh, we went to see the new Shin Lim show when he is the magician or the sleight of hand artist. He won season 13, then came back and won the ch champion in season where all the champions came together and he's got a new Vegas residency out there at the Mirage. It was awesome. Really? Such a good show. Such a good show. So if you're going to be in Vegas, I definitely recommend you go and seeing it. He's got select dates coming up until I think I think he's got to run through 2020, like June. But uh, the rumor is out there that they are going to extend it a much longer. And so that's huge. You go from basically winning a show to having a Vegas residency. And he's actually in the Terry Fader Theater, who also won AGT and who is worth millions and millions and millions of dollars these days. Uh, yeah, not a bad place to be. Dax, thank you, buddy. Have a good week. Follow Dax on social media, Dax Holt, and follow Hollywood Pipeline as, as well. Still ahead, everybody, we're getting you ready for holiday shopping. One of my favorite guests all year, the toy guy is back, and he has, well, lots of toys. The hottest toys when we return back after this. Welcome back, my friends. You're going to love this. Get the kids. They're actually... Actually, put the kids in the other room if you want to surprise them. Seriously. <laughs> Santa, get the elves around the TV. Here we go. The holidays are approaching, and that means you should be up on all the latest toys 
That's why we are here, here to talk about the hottest toys of the season. Oh, I love this guy. It's the toy guy from Time to Play magazine, Chris Byrne, everybody. Hey, hey, Welcome hey, back. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm just going to tell you I'm very excited for one of these toys, and we're going to get to that first. But what do we have this year? So we're going to start out with a great playset for preschoolers. This is called the Tots Nursery, and Tots is the Tiny Ones Transport Service, and it's all about these little dogs, and it's a junior Disney Junior show, these little dogs who deliver pets to their forever homes. And it's really, it's How really, cute is it's that? really super cute. You've got a slide, you've got all kinds of different things. You've got, you've got color changing diapers. And when you dump, when you dip Shut them, up. Are dip you them in water. Yeah, exactly. And we've even got like a little, a little, uh, you know, all kinds of little great things for little kids to play with. It's Her really super Her little diaper fun. changed. Yes, it <laughs> Look at that! Uh, you know what? You have the makings of a great pet parent. I, I definitely think that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you, you, you. This is a show. Yeah, it's called. Uh, I need to watch this. Tots on Disney oh, tots. Junior. It's okay. really, really cute. Now, unboxing continues to be one of the biggest things that's out there right now. Uh, this is actually called Rainbow Surprise. You get this. You get this box, right? Okay. They've heard of it. You un un unbox it. There's 20 surprises inside and a beautiful doll. So it's really, it's all what about- What do you mean the, surprises, Chris? Well, like, so for example, you open up little envelopes and you find different little things inside of them. Uh, they're toy surprises. Yeah, yeah, okay, they're okay, toy, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but how, how do you take a doll this beautiful and accessorize her? I would recommend slime. Yeah. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so is this like the pooping unicorn? It, well, it's kind of it's poopsy yeah. surprise. So basically you take this slime that you mix up and then you can accessorize all of her different, uh, her different uh, outfits with the slime. Let's see if we can get this in here. So then it's kind of like slime meets fashion. It's kind of a complete hybrid. And then we've got, then we've got her. Uh... I'm just telling you. <laughs> telling you this right now. I know some drag queens that would love that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure the heels are high Unicom, enough. Unicom, <laughs> I'm getting those for you. Yeah. So, so, I mean, just really, really super fun and, and fun to play with. And of course, the unboxing takes a while. It's the longest unboxing out there. Now, rescue pets are another big thing. We talked about uh, delivery pets. This is called uh, Scruffa Loves Rescue Pets. And basically, you get this is what you get when you open the box. You don't know what's going to be inside it. So you have to put it in water, and you bathe it, and you take care of it. And then you get a little Scruffa Love pet, and you take your... I'll use, I'll use her comb. And basically you go from scruffy to fluffy. Just really, really super oh. fun as kids play with him. Because, Chris, I got to tell you, when you just put this thing out there, I was like, this looks it, like That a, doesn't look like fun. This looks like, a, <laughs> this looks like a Christmas ham. You know what I mean? It's like from Star Trek. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. So oh. that's, the whole process is, is bathing it and discovering what you get. Okay. okay. So Rizmo, this is Rizmo. This little ball of fluff starts as Rizmo. It's the first interactive evolving plush we've seen because it goes from a baby to a kid and then we're gonna turn him on. And it, what's great about him is he evolves. As he evolves, let's see if we, where's the on switch? We love the on switch. As he evolves, he, you, you play with him, you nurture him and then he gets to this era. And let's see if we can get him to evolve to the next step. Oh, look, he's going to His eyes it. are blinking. What His is that? eyes are blinking. He's gonna evolve from, we've got baby, we've got kid and then suddenly, We've got Rizmo! <laughs> Shut up! Are you serious? Right, yeah, yeah. And the more the, the more you interact and play with him and sing to him, the right, exactly. Super cute. He's, he's absolutely super cute. Can we do that with this one real quick? You know what? It you had, no, because that oh, one, it takes I, a while. I, I had that one done just for TV magic. Uh, this actually, you actually nurture it for like 30, 40 minutes to get it to the next. Yes, step. I nurture them. Yeah, well, of course, of course. Okay. How do you want? How how do you get anything to evolve without nurturing it? You're right. Okay. You're right. <laughs> okay. And then this is Boppy, the booty shaking llama. Uh, <laughs> it's from Zuru. Uh, See, that's what I did in the Hong Kong showroom last year when I saw this for the first time. <laughs> no! Oh my god! You have to see! Oh god, the, turn that out again, Lucas! Oh my goodness! <laughs> right? Right? And there are scandalous pictures of these. <laughs> that is by far. 
the best toy ever created. Oh. I knew you'd love this. I knew you would love this. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bobby. There we go. There we go, Bobby. You'll get that back, Chris, I swear. Anyway, okay. More. How's, how's that working for you, Bobby? Is it good? Yeah. More with Chris when we return. Stay with us, everybody. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> Welcome back. I, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We try to do a good show for you every single day of the year. I don't know how much more I can give. I mean, this is, I've given all that I can. I, I gave you a booty shaking llama. I, that's, I don't know what more. You're not going to get this on the view. I'm just telling you right there. Okay, more with Chris. What do we have Okay, next? so we're going to bring our blood pressure down a little yeah, bit a little right bit. now. Yeah. Uh, we've got, this is, this is from Playmobil. It's the Crystal Palace place. And it's a beautiful dollhouse. It's about $139. And you, you build it, and then you play. And it's all about the open-ended, narrative-based play as you... Uh, as you experience it. This one's available at walmart.com and also on the Playmobil site. But it's just a beautiful set. We, we talk about these as legacy toys because you never see these at garage sales. People play with yeah. them and they pass them down and they just love it. There's a huge Playmobil uh, uh, audience out there. Well, well, also because it's really not, it's not a franchise that can get old. Right. This is pretty just generic enough where it'll last for kids for generations. Exactly. So. And, and you know, the Playmobil dinosaur can visit here too if you've got that one. You oh, know? So well, it's really go. about that open-ended play. Now, yeah. I don't know if you know, but axe throwing is a big thing. Um, it's huge. It's huge here. Like movie theaters have it now. Yeah. Right, and bars, which is not a good idea to no, begin I, with. Yeah. But but there is axe throwing you can do inside. This is called Zax. It's a it's a foam axe, and we're gonna try and. Oh! Uh, <laughs> this is from Zig. I know. I know. <laughs> Bobby's gonna walk away with one of these too. It's end over end. End over end. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a, there, well, there's a bit, there's a bit of a learning curve involved, but it's just super. I'm going fun. back to the llama. It's I, super fun. Go. Yeah, there's, okay. It's a great, a little bit of a learning curve, but again, nine ninety nine, and and just so much fun. I mean, everyone has an axe to grind at holidays. Exactly. So you, you now you get one to yeah. throw, which is really cool. So this, I've I've been talking about this as the perfect uncle toy. This is called Pop Pop Snots. Okay. Uh, and basically, it's kind of, right. See, there, there, there are some moms over there. Uh, there's basically, it's like uh, bubble wrap, right? Okay. And essentially, you, you take your snots hammer, and, and you just start smashing and creating slime. And it, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's, wait. It's very Chris, therapeutic. Chris, Chris, you're you're upsetting. I traumatized you're Rizmo. You're upsetting. The, this thing is. He I'm traumatizing Rizmo. She's not happy over here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, I mean, and some of them have little characters inside, and it's just, it's wonderful collectible play. That's all you do? You just uh, smash it? Well, you know, after a while, you can suck up your slime and, and save your slime. You... Okay. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. <laughs> so these have Wait, little things in it? Some, some of them may. Just start slapping, and you'll discover if you do. See? Okay. Right? Exactly. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 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 okay. okay. So this is the year of the electric scooter. We're seeing them everywhere. We're seeing birds, lime scooters. This is called Vero Vega Rides. It's from MGA. And basically, it starts out, you can do it as a mini bike, but we're going to transfer it. We're going to transfer it, if I can do this right, into a scooter. Are you kidding me? Check that out. No and way! There, and there you have an electric scooter. Does it work? It works. It'll go. It'll go up to ten miles an hour. You can go six miles on one charge. Okay. Uh, go ahead. And you know what? Wear your helmet if you're outside doing this. Wear your helmet. Go ahead. There we go. <laughs> Wear your helmet, children. <laughs> I went two feet. Wear your helmet. Yeah. Okay, how do we, okay, got let me, little, got a little let me come back over. Come, come, back, come back this way, yeah, there you go. There we but go. it'll go up to 10 miles an hour, and it takes, a, it takes a little time to get used to riding it, but there you go. <laughs> there we go. Where's the kickstand, Chris? There we go. How much does this retail for? Uh, it's about 269 Okay, you know what? I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, for a big, a that's a big item. present. It's, it's, yeah, it's a high ticket item. I mean, you great. get that, and you get the, the booty shaking llama. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> for more on Chris uh, and for more on all the toys, head to the toyguy.com and find him on social media. Just search for the toy guy. There you go. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. We're going to get on the scooter and scoot over to the game area when we come back. Back after this. Oh, my goodness. And I might never get there, but I'm gonna try If it's 10,000 hours or the rest of my life, I'm gonna love you Welcome back. That is the number one song on the Billboard Country Charts. Justin Bieber with Dan and Shay singing 10,000 Hours. Well, welcome back. We've got country on the mind today following last night's CMA Awards and country music. And llamas are the inspiration for today's game time, everybody. There we go. Today's game is called Country Music, Real or Fake? Hey, buddy. Oh. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's simple. I'm going to give you the name of a song, and you must decide if it's an actual song or if it's made up by the world famous Jason Sh <laughs> the world famous Jason Show research team <laughs> playing today. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Eric <laughs> and Yvette, everybody. <laughs> and again, thanks to Chris for sticking around. Uh, follow him on social media, everybody. The Toy Guy. Uh, oh my God, best segment ever. Okay, here we go. Hands up, buzzers, everybody. Here's how it's going to work. Uh, please wait until I get to the end of the song, and you tell me if it's real or fake. First one. My head hurts, my feet stink, and I don't love Jesus. Oh, fake. Real. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, who wrote that? Jimmy Man. Buffett. Oh, okay. Wow. Whoa. Jimmy. Okay, next one. Hands up, buzzers. She got the ring, and I got the finger. Fake. Real. Real. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love, I love country music. Here we go. You're like a windshield and I'm the bug. Real. Fake. <laughs> yeah, made up by Jeff. That's a good one. This is fantastic. Handsome up buzzers. She's got freckles on her, but she's pretty. <laughs> Eric. Real. Real is right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's got freckles, but she's real pretty. There we go. Hands up, buzzers. Oh, my goodness. I changed her oil. She changed my life. Uh, Yvette, you were the first. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go with real. You are right. Real. Real. Okay, hands up, buzzers. Here we go. This beer tastes better than you look. Eric. Fake. You are right, it's fake. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff made that up. That's real good though, actually. Hands above buzzers. Oh. You remind me of my dog, and that's a good thing. Yvette? That's real. That is fake. Oh, no. That is fake. That's producer Jeff at his best. Here we go. Hands above buzzers. <laughs> this is, this is. I flushed you from the toilets of my heart. Eric. Fake. Real. <laughs> Real. What? Do we, who sings that chef? Do we know? We don't know? Okay. <laughs> Hands above buzzers. Uh, uh, I got in at two with a I got in at two with a ten and woke up ten with a two. Oh, that's fake. That is real. Oh my gosh. That is real. This oh is gosh. the best game ever. Okay, here we go. Hands up, buzzers. If whiskey were a woman, I'd be married for sure. Yvette? Fake. Real. Oh. Real. I'm great at this game. Yeah. Hands up, buzzers. And I listen to country. I know. Your eyes are like diamonds. They can cut me. Eric. Real. Fake. Fake. You're good as I am. It's all right, Eric. <laughs> oh my goodness! Next one. You're the reason our baby's so ugly. 
That better be fake. That is very real. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Every time the show tanks, I'm just gonna start playing this, you know? Here we go. He's gonna fall. Oh, oh he's gonna fall. There we go. Okay, there we go. Next one, our final one. Don't cry on my shoulders because you're rusting my spurs. Eric? That's real. You are right. That is very real. <laughs> and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. They're both going home with the Jason Show mug. There we go. Thank, Thank you real. both very much. My friends, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. Don't forget you can get this little guy at Walmart or Target. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back to wrap things up after this. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. It's our new co-host over here, yeah. And Chris, look at that. Bobby really did get a uh, birthday present. Bobby, yeah. right there, yeah. <laughs> Bobby's like, I came to the Jason show and all I got was a booty shaking llama. Hey. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Hey, we got a, really quickly, we got an email, a couple tweets. People are loving your lipstick today. Do you know where you got oh, it? Oh, yes, from Mac. It's just the Ruby Woo, the one Ruby Woo, but with a really dark lip liner. Yeah, people, I, I just looked on Twitter. Evan people, likes it too. People are loving the <laughs> lipstick. Anyway, yeah. He goes, I don't know if it faded like that on accident, but it looks good. Yeah, the lipstick and llama are hits today, Kendall. We can go home. We're, we're, we're done. Anyway, again, you can find this little bugger at uh, Target or Walmart. We just checked. They are in stock right now, so if you're in the Twin Cities, I'd get there quick because I have a feeling there's going to be a run on them. And again, oh, they're out. They're out now. Not in Eden Prairie. Not in Eden Prairie. Wow. Well, Whoa. call your local Target is what we're telling you, or you your local Walmart. Yeah. And again, follow the toy guy on Instagram. We're gonna take a break to wrap things up after this. Stay with us. So good. Welcome back. Wrapping things up on this Thursday. We always like to welcome new members of the Jason Show family, and it is official. We talked to Chris over the break. We signed the adoption papers. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest member of our show family, Lorenzo Lama. Yeah. That's right. That's, yeah. <laughs> Named, of course, after 80s uh, uh, primetime soap star, Falcon Crest star, Lorenzo Lamas. Right there. That's, yeah. Do you know who Lorenzo Lamas is? No. No, he... <laughs> He, yeah, he was on Falcon Crest, which was after Dallas. It's all right, yeah. He played Lance, yeah, oh, on the Lance. show. Oh, Lance! Yeah, he on played Lance Falcon on the show, but yeah, Cliff. Falcon Crest. But anyway, Crest. Uh, now we've checked again, because uh, we, we checked again. Jeff has been spending this commercial break looking at inventory at <laughs> Targets and Walmart. They are sold out in a lot of places. So not all, but check your local Walmart or Target. So Up to it. Yeah. Now this story is all over the place. Speaking of cute things, before we go, a rescue puppy that you have to see. Meet Norwal. Narwhal. Narwhal, also known as the unicorn puppy because of a tail-like growth on his forehead. A rescue group in Missouri uh, is caring for the dog, even starting an Instagram account for the pup. They're receiving quite a few requests from people hoping to give the unicorn dog a forever home. Yeah. Why are you shaking your head? So funny. It's so well, cute. He's <laughs> cute, a little unicorn puppy. I know. Well, I looked and it doesn't wag. The little thing. The tail doesn't wag. Oh, it's not independent. No, it's just skin, an appendage. It's just skin growth. Oh, okay. It's just and a little growth. growth. That's yeah. fine. He's still cute though. Uh-huh. No. I wonder if the growth is gonna grow with the puppy. Well, that's why they're holding on to him for I know all about this. They're holding on to him for a little longer because they want to make sure it won't hurt him, plus they don't want anyone to adopt him who will take it off because that's his that's his flair. That's his flair. For yeah. Life. That's right. Like the llama. Exactly. Flair. Tomorrow on the show, we're really excited. He was a guest here before and just came to play, in, and I'm sure you will again. Former SNLer Chris Kattan will be live in our studio. He's on top performing stand up. Yeah, he's a good guy. Plus, the best way to clean out your refrigerator, plus more fun with Lorenzo Lamas right here. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's so. And by the way, don't forget, because of breaking news uh, coverage tomorrow, we will be on Fox 9 Plus. 
Box 9 Plus tomorrow. Go out there and be yourself, everybody, because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.